Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com and I'm here to introduce you to a bunch of new baby booty patterns that we're going to be featuring on YouTube and these are all free patterns and this collection here starts out with the same exact bottom like you start with the toe and then you go to rows and then we all we did was switch off the cuffs on all of these and we use different yarns. So most all of these yarns that you see here are available at maggiescrochet.com and the links to everything are going to be listed below including the patterns and the yarns and I thought I'd just show you a couple of them. This one is, uh, these were made from Prism and there's a blue, beautiful blue um, variegated um, color and then the pink color then so you could see those here this was a sport weight cotton yarn and most of these are like sport weight or maybe a little bit lighter but you can try using maybe a light worsted weight yarn that would work also and they might come out just a little bit bigger but um, it'd be fun just to experiment with different types of yarns this one was done with um, Cotton Fair by Premier and this is Mary Maxim's Twinkle Yarn which we carry and we also carry this one. These were done, I love these, um, were done with this Afternoon Cotton which is I think sport weight. And um, I'm also going to be showing you other booties using different um, brands of yarn and one of them I've already designed is Woolies Thick and Quick and I think that's as thick as you can go for a baby booty uh, but it's really really adorable so um, I've already designed those and those are really cute those will be coming out in the future so this will introduce you to a lot of different uh, baby booties and there might be additional ones um, other than these also. So I hope that you enjoy these projects and right now I'm gonna take you to a close-up and Christina is gonna show you how to make these adorable little gifts that you can give away and um, use for your baby. Hey everybody, it's Christina from maggiescrochet.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make this super cute little baby booty. Uh, this is a very easy project. It's mostly double crochets, some singles, uh, worked in both rounds and rows. You'll need um, two colors of yarn for this. I'm using Premier Yarns Cotton Fair in white and turquoise, I believe is what this light blue is called. Um, so you'll need some of that. This is great because it's machine washable, which we love. For your hook, Make sure you take a minute and check your gauge. I'm ending up needing a size E to get these booties to turn out the right size, so that's what I'm using today. Um, but take a minute, look at the pattern, see how big it's supposed to end up, make a couple swatches, and make sure you've got the right hook to uh, for your booties. You're also going to need your yarn needle and whatever scissors or clippers you like to use. So we'll start with uh, the blue. And on your hook, once you decide what size you need, start uh, by chaining four. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, which would be the one closest to the slip knot, you're going to do 11 double crochets. So yarn over, insert down into that chain, pull a loop through. You've got three loops on your hook. Pull through two and then pull through two. So I'm gonna do that 10 more times and then I'll come back and show you the end of round one. So I just finished my double crochets and counting the uh, chain there at the beginning, I now have 12. Now, sometimes when you work into that first uh, chain nearest your slip knot uh, and you work a lot of stitches, it's gonna stretch out like it did here. That's easy enough to fix, just pull on your beginning tail and it'll squeeze right back up. So if you need to do that, go ahead. And then just, um, we're gonna do a slip stitch to bring our round together. So go into the top of that chain three and just pull it through in a little slip stitch just like that. Now for round two, you'll chain up three, double crochet in the same stitch, it's kind of stretched out right there. 
and then we'll do two double crochets in each stitch around. So we had 12 at the end of round one. At the end of round two, we should have 24 double crochets, including this chain three that we started with. So now I've got 24 double crochets all the way around, and again I'll just uh, slip stitch this to the top of the beginning chain three of that round. Alright, so that was round two. Rounds three, four, and five are all worked the same way. You'll start by chaining three, and then work one double crochet in each stitch around. So I'd work my first one right here, and then one per stitch all the way around. So I'm going to go do that and I will come back when I have gotten to the end of round five. When you finish with row five, or round five rather, you can go ahead and uh, cut off your yarn. It should uh, look something like this, kind of like a little bowl or something like that. This is the toe of your baby booty. Now one thing I want to do before I continue on, I know that this tail, my starting tail, was on the wrong side of my work so I'm going to take just a quick second and just flip this inside out and that way I know that I have the right side out going forward. So with the same blue yarn on your hook we're going to join that 12 stitches away from where we just ended our round. It should be pretty much exactly halfway across but I'll go ahead and count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and then that one is our 12. So we're just going to join with a slip stitch. So with your slip knot on your hook, insert there into the stitch, pull a loop through, and then right back through the loop already on your hook. So now you're joined with a slip stitch. For row 6, we're going to work in rows now, not rounds. Start by chaining 3, and then you're going to do 1 double crochet in each stitch around. Uh, and you'll do this all the way around, go right over where you just cut off your thread from the rounds, and we'll go all the way till we come to this side here. And then we'll stop, we'll chain three and turn, and work the next row all the way back around. So this is row six, and we'll do that through row 11. Now you might be asking why are we doing this instead of just um, starting rows from where we were. Well if you take a look the baby booty down here you can see fairly clearly the difference between you know all the stitches and then here's where our slip stitches and chains were where we um, began and ended our rounds. It's not the prettiest thing in the world so we're gonna try to get that on the bottom and so to do that we had to start our rows over here on the opposite side and this will be the top of the booty. And you'll see that a little more clearly as the booty works on. So I'm going to uh, do one double crochet in each stitch all the way over to here. I'll chain three, turn, and work row seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven just the same, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like at that point. So I've just finished row eleven, and you can see now how working in those rows left an opening here at the top for the ankle. Um, and then here's the back end of our rounds and where the uh, slip stitches and the joining and all that was and now that as you can see is on the bottom. So when I finished round 11 I left a pretty long tail because now I want to sew together the back end of the booty. So this is where you'll grab your yarn needle. I usually fold my yarn in half and pinch it between my fingers and then just kind of wiggle the eye of the needle right over the yarn. Also helps to have a needle with a really big eye. <laughs> All right, um, let's see, so you'll line up your edges here, and I'll do a, probably a couple extra stitches right here at the very beginning. Make sure that's going to be nice and secure. And then working down the side, I usually like to do kind of a back stitch, so I'll go down about two stitches or so, come back up one, go down about two stitches, come back up one, and I'm just working right beneath the uh, top loops of that last row there. So back stitching back and forth like that should give me a nice solid uh, seam. So I will finish doing this and then any leftover ends that I've got I will weave in and trim. 
and then we only have a few steps left so I'll come back after I finish sewing this seam. So now I've got this sewn together pretty well, nice and even. That should hold up nicely. So now the only thing we have left to do is put on our cuff. So with a slip knot on your hook, go to the back of the booty where the seam that you just sewed is, and we're going to be working into the end double crochet of each row. So this one here, this one here, etc. Um, first we'll join with a single crochet. So just take your hook, slide it right underneath that double crochet, pull your loop through, then pull loop through both of those loops. We're counting that as our first single crochet. In that same space around that same double crochet, do two more single crochets. And then we'll do three in each double crochet round. So right here, we'll do three single crochets there. This next one, we'll do three single crochets there. And we'll do this on both sides until we get back around to the seam. And at that point, we should have 36 single crochets. When you come back around to the back after finishing all your single crochets, just join uh, to the first single crochet that you made with a little slip stitch right there. Bring that together. Now for round two, you'll start by chaining four. We're going to count that as one double crochet and one chain one. You'll then skip the next stitch, double crochet in the following one, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the following one, and you'll keep doing this chain one double crochet all the way around until you get back to the back seam again. When you come back to the end of the row, you'll have just finished with a double crochet and a chain. Then we're going to join into the third chain. Remember we had four here and we said the first three were the double crochet. So into the top of that, count one, two, three. And in that third one, we'll make just a little slip stitch. Now for round three, we're going to slip stitch into the first chain one space. So notice how now we have all these little windows. They buy our double crochets and then our chain ones. So in the first chain one space, we're just going to go right into that window and do a slip stitch. And then in the same space, we'll work a puff. Now the puff for this pattern is yarn over, insert down into the space, pull a loop through, yarn over, insert down into the space, pull loop through. Now you've got five loops. Go ahead and pull one loop through all five of those at once. That's going to be our puff for this pattern. Then chain one, work a puff into the next space. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, down into the same space, pull up a loop. You've got five loops on your hook. Pull one loop through all five of those. So I'll continue this all the way around chaining one and then doing a puff in each uh, chain one space. And when we come back to the beginning, well, I'll show you where to join uh, once I get all the way around. When you finish your row of puff stitches, you come back around to the back where the seam is. Just go ahead and join that um, with a slip stitch to the first puff of the row. Now we're actually going to change colors to white here, so I'm going to, I find the, um, the most unobtrusive way to change colors is to introduce the new color in the last bit of your last stitch. So my last stitch is a slip stitch. So after I insert into there, then I want to pick up the white. And that's what we'll pull through and then we've got white on our hook and we're ready to start the next round. We'll come back to the blue, so just leave that hanging in the back there and we'll come back to that in just a minute. Now with the white we're going to um, go ahead and do a single crochet in this chain one space. Mm -hmm. 
and then we're going to work two single crochets in each chain one space around. So skip over the puff there, work two single crochets in that space, skip the puff, two single crochets in the next space, and we'll continue doing that all the way around. When you come back around to uh, the back seam, we're going to join with a slip stitch to uh, the first single crochet of that round, but we want to change color to the blue, so I'm going to drop the white th uh, yarn right behind my work there, pick up the blue that I left hanging, and that's when I'll pull through to do that little slip stitch right there. We're going to start working puffs again. The first one is going to be um, see how this single crochet kind of lines up right above the puff below it? That's where we're going to work our puff. So yarn over, insert, pull loop through, yarn over, pull loop through. You've got five loops, pull through all five, chain one, skip the next single crochet, do a puff in the next one. Again, this should kind of line up right over the previous puff stitch. And we'll do that all the way around. When we come back, we'll join. You can go ahead and uh, finish off your blue at that time. And then we'll do one more round of, the ro of white. You'll repeat round four um, so that we have the nice little white edge on the top. And then I'll come back and show you how to do all the finishing touches. So here is what the booty will look like when it's finished. Now the finishing touch is to take your white and using two strands, um, make a chain of about, oh, I'd say maybe 18 inches or so, um, more or less, depending on how big of a bow you want. But take that chain and starting at the front, at the very top of the booty, you're going to weave it in and out of these little windows that we made in row two. Just over and under all the way around. Then when we get back to the front, we'll tie a bow and we'll be done, except you'll need to make another one. <laughs> I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you do have any questions though, please leave them in the comments below and try to help you out. You can find the links for the pattern, the materials, everything you'll need down in the description. Let's just try to get this even. something like that and then we'll just tie but this is going to be a pretty floppy bow so um, you may need to experiment a little bit with how long exactly you want your chain to be like I said depending on whether you want a big floppy bow like that maybe a smaller one but there you go there is your blue baby booty thanks for watching guys And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.